Hi all, so I'm going to plant out my courgettes today. I've got a couple of big plastic bottles with the bottoms cut off, which I use as cloches in case there's any last minute frosts. Uh, now I've got a black variety, Nero de Milano, and a yellow variety, which is just golden zucchini. And I'm just going to plant one of each because usually one plant does us plenty over the summer. But I'll keep a couple of reserves just in case anything awful happens. Now courgettes are really hungry, thirsty plants. They create huge leaves and obviously the fruit is quite a dense, moist fruit. So what I do is I excavate a massive hole in my veg bed and I move all that compost to one side so this is year old compost really and then I fill that tub with semi decomposed stuff off the compost heap and I fill the hole with that and then that will keep the process going and keep the nutrients um, nutrient cycling going and keep those plants fed for the summer hopefully without too much additional feeding and then I top it up uh, I move some of the old compost back over to mulch it so none of the weed seeds that obviously will be in my compost heap will germinate. Now I am mortified to say usually what I would do watering my veg patch I would be out here usually Sunday evenings once a week I give it a thorough soaking fully saturate the soil and I would think that would be fine and I have a couple of milk bottle reservoirs which are basically just the four pint milk bottles with a few holes punched in the bottom with an awl or a screwdriver or the end of a pair of scissors and then I fill those up with water and I think I've done a good job after saturating the soil so I put the little reservoir in just to give it a bit extra. When I dug the pit today the soil is completely dry there's absolutely it's not holding together at all it's completely dry so that could be why certain seeds aren't germinating and certain plants aren't getting going in the way that I would expect in this bed it has been hot but it's also been really windy and the wind will dry the soil as quickly as the heat will because it keeps um, it stops the soil building up a little layer and it stops all the plants building up a little air bubble around themselves and that means that the moisture is constantly being dragged out of them so firstly it means that the soil will dry because I have bare soil and also it means that the plants will lose moisture much quickly so the transpiration rate massively increases so they suck up the moisture much quickly so I've put in an extra milk bottle reservoir here which I'm going to show you in a minute I put it in full and then the important thing is to remember to take the lid off because the <laughs> the water will start getting sucked out the bottle and the bottle will just <laughs> shrivel up in front of your eyes. So I've done that once, I've topped it up once more and it's empty again. So I'm just going to try and show you fairly clumsily. Watch out for Mr. Carrot there. That's a very old last year's carrot but it's about to flower and the, the pollinators love it so I'm recklessly leaving it and then I'm going to top it up again and if I show you if you top it all the way to the top, na, na, na. so I have watered, I've put a full watering can in on top of the compost and then like I say I put the bottle in full and I filled it up once so this is second filling so you can see, I just want to show you how quickly the water is moving through this. So if I put the lid on you can see it start to crush the bottle as the suction goes and then as soon as I loosen the lid you can see how fast that water is draining out. Now you want to dig a big enough hole that most of the bottle is beneath the surface otherwise gravity will draw it down to soil level anyway but then it just means if you have the lid on it as long as the air can move through it it means you're not going to lose the water out of your reservoir by evaporation as well. So just a quick check, you might want to dig a hole in your veg patch and check your own soil and if it is looking a bit dry, try some reservoirs and just remember to keep watering. Have fun!